in addition to the hackers themselves, yeah. I think another exciting aspect of this is you've had some conference speakers, right? And again, they, they were billed as providing short, um, you know, introductory overviews, but like Gary Nolan spoke for over an hour a couple of days ago, and he revealed some new data. Again, it's very data-focused, data-driven analytics. He, he did that. You've also, I believe, had Peter Skafich, uh, James from Skywatcher, and he revealed a bunch of new analysis photos that they have taken of UAP, right? So that's another aspect of this. Are you looking at more speakers in the future? Absolutely looking forward to more uh, speakers. Um, I'd love to have you as a speaker <laughs> on your experience with APAC, right? Um, <laughs> um, a lot of people here, you know, Silicon Valley was built on um, looking at what's beyond the known sciences and at the edge of physics, right? We built trillion dollar companies at the edge of physics. Uh, and UAPs happen to exist at the edge of physics. Um, so we'll definitely have more and more speakers and I'm hoping to see an even wider spread of diversity from some of the most uh, advanced aerospace engineers to AI engineers, um, all the way to you know medical practitioners, biotechnologists, and so on uh, as well. That's amazing. Can you tell me a little bit about how it's going so far? What are your thoughts? Yeah, it's going fantastic. Uh, really incredible that this is taking sh uh, taking place on the USS Hornet. Um, there's a birthing room section downstairs, so lots of the hackers actually was working so late and um, wanted to stay here and hack. Um, so yeah, lots of exciting projects. We have six missions that kind of cover the breadth of the UAP topic, which includes material science, psionics, um, biologics, um, humanity soft landing, and yeah, a couple others. So yeah, we're super excited to feel the energy from the hackers. 